Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to install the EtherMod version 1.02, which is an update to the mod which came out about a month ago or so, and it had some new mobs, a bunch of bug fixes, items, and features, and it's a collaborative project, if you don't know, um, that adds a whole new realm to Minecraft. It's a sky realm. It's up in the air, and it adds new mobs, new creatures, new treasures, new dungeons, really very awesome and it's put out by King B Dogs, Shaka, Kodiachi, Flan, and 303, some of the top mod makers in the community. And uh, they've put a lot of work into this, so head on over, download it, donate if you have a couple extra bucks lying around. Um, definitely worth it. So let's get started on the installation. I also have a, a tour video. I do multiple tours, actually, if you're interested in seeing this in action. But uh, first, we've got to get it installed. So follow along, and you'll be playing soon enough. So let's get started. Okay, step number one, you've got to get to this download page. So, go to Google, type in Minecraft, Minecraft, Aether, and it should be the first hit. Click on that, it's the minecraftforum.net forums, and voila. Now, just scroll down a bit, and I've already scrolled down, so I don't have to go through it again. There's a bunch of pictures there, and eventually you will find this, the donate button, and he, these are the actual mods you'll need to get this to run properly and this is the ether mod itself but you need to download mod loader audio mod player api and shock ahpi r5.1 easy enough for you to say so go ahead and download all those i already have them downloaded. it's just a matter of clicking and bring them down to your computer when you get that done come on back the next step is to make sure you have some kind of zipping tool i use 7zip you can use a winrar if you don't have either of those programs, I recommend you go and download it. 7-Zip is free. It's at 7-Zip.org. If you have a 32-bit machine, you download the executable. Download the MSI for 64-bit machines. Go ahead and grab 7-Zip if you don't already, and come on back when you're done. Okay, now it's time to back up and make sure that we have a clean installation of Minecraft. The best way to do this is to have nothing installed, no other mods, no um, save games, texture packs, etc. We want to move everything out and start fresh. Now, so what we need to do is to get to our Minecraft folder. The easiest way to do that is run Minecraft. There are several ways to do it. This is one of the easiest. Click on Mods and Texture Packs. And right here you'll see Open Texture Pack Folder. Click on that. And this will bring you to your users folder which is hidden and right here you'll see dot minecraft you want to click on the roaming or just you can go back up this way as well click on minecraft first and then roaming and you'll see right here where it says dot minecraft now we want to basically just rename this to get it out of the way and we're gonna have the launcher recreate that in a minute so we're gonna to have to close this down first so close down minecraft and go back over here and just rename this by right clicking on the folder rename take that dot out of there and I'm just gonna call it BAK minecraft dot back it gets it out of the way okay now let's go back and run minecraft so now we have here a brand new minecraft folder no worlds you can reset your options if you like I usually put the music down a tad the ether is really loud so I put the sound down to about 50 and now we can close this down now we should have a new minecraft folder as you can see right here brand spanking new you want to go to the bin folder and you should have a brand new minecraft.jar generated today and we're going to open that up with a right click go to 7-zip and open that archive up you know, let's just put that guy aside right here now we want to go into our downloads folder where you downloaded everything and you want to open up mod loader the same way right click we're going to do these one at a time we start with mod loader right click open archive slide that fellow over bring this window back up and what we want to do is grab all of these files here and dump them into the minecraft.jar so go to edit select all 
and then hold down and drag it, drag and drop it right here somewhere in white space so it doesn't go into one of these folders. And you'll be prompted, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do indeed. Close down Mod Loader, do the same with Audio Mod, right click, 7-zip, open archive, get this guy back up, and then do the same thing here. Grab all, and just drop them right in. Click yes, close that, player API, right click. Once again, we just keep repeating the same process here. It's a little bit different with the next two, so we'll get too comfortable with this. Done, shock AHPI. It's going to be a little bit different. You want to open up the bin folder, and right here we have all of this stuff. I basically want to take everything in the bin, edit, select all, and drop it in. You don't need the README there. Close that. And now the Ether mod. Go to Ether, 7-zip, open archive, bring this back up, and you want to open up where it says jar folder. That means dump that stuff into the jar. So go to edit, select all, drag and drop on white space confirm and now we leave that open because we have to go back up like that and this resource folder is actually going to be dumped into our explorer back there but before we do that this is critical see meta inf we've got to delete that select it click delete goodbye we're done with minecraft.jar close it out let's slide this fellow over here and then on this side we want to go back to our Minecraft folder and again to get there we can just do this run Minecraft remember me oh that was a quick log on good and we're not quite done despite that nice little background there now we want to go to mods and texture packs open up the folder it's the only reason I did that now and now we can close that just shut Minecraft back down then go over here to Minecraft. What we're looking for is this resources folder. So double click on that and then go back to 7-zip and we have this folder here in the ethermod.zip resources. Open that up and you'll see mod. All you have to do is take that whole folder and drop it in here into the resources folder. And if it says do you want to merge this together you click on yes because there's already a mod there and that's all the stuff for ether sound and so forth now we can test it out let's run the game log in now I don't have any ether worlds connected right now so I'm just gonna open up a new world and if we don't get a black screen then that pretty much means it worked okay I'm logged in now you will note there could be a two to five second delay for that music to start up that's custom music and if you don't get it right away then just give it a second and it will start to play I'm gonna click on single player create new world and we'll call this ether 2 because I'm gonna copy over another one alright these pro tips right here that means the ether mod is installed and of course we start on the Minecraft world and have to build a portal to get to the ether world. What I'm going to do is back out of this right now. I'm going to copy over my ether map, which I've already got running from uh, the old version. And then, uh, then we'll hop into that. So let's head over to the start button. Type in percent. A-P-P-D-A-T-A. -A, percent, so it's app data. Hit enter and that opens up your username app data roaming folder and you'll see minecraft right here now we want to go down to where we renamed uh, minecraft.bak this is where our old saves are so let's open that up we can go to saves and we can grab everything right in here by going organize select all copy and let's go back to roaming Minecraft saves right click and paste 
So this is my old world from, ETH, uh, from the Ethermod version 1.01. And let's hop in back to Minecraft and load it up. Okay, interestingly enough, I've got some new background with new features up here, which I didn't notice before. <laughs> All right, let's click on that, Ether 1. Let's play that world. And I've got the new tunes playing, and I'm in the Ether. And yes, I do invert my mouse. And we got a pig. I should probably put a saddle on him. But I don't want to lose them when I log out. So here we are. We're back in the ether. There's some new stuff in the game. Um, you'll have to go to the website and read about all the new fixes and so forth because I'm really not sure about it. But again, I'm going to be doing a tour and discovering a lot of the new items and the bug fixes and the tweaks. And I'm going to capture it all on camera. So if you're interested in watching someone play, head on over to my channel and watch my tour. Well that's it, that's how to install the Ethermod version 1.02. Hope you enjoyed, if you did and this is helpful please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I definitely appreciate the support. Thanks guys and gals, we'll see you next time, bye bye.